If you turn on the news today, one of the greatest things you can hear are companies around the world talking about the importance of diversity. Everyone is talking about having a diverse workforce, whether it's gender-based or whether it's about diversity of thought or racial-based diversity. Everyone is talking about diversity, which is a great thing. Unfortunately, it's only half the equation. Think of it this way. If you're a chocolate cake fan like myself, think of it as baking, as putting all this time in baking this beautiful and moist, great cake, and then someone comes along and they put a mustard frosting on it. You go, ah, you ruined my cake. Diversity without inclusion does not achieve the value that you want to in an empowered world as today. It doesn't reap the benefits. Let me give you an example. So I was called in to be as an expert to help one of my clients really drive a collaborative environment. They had an important question at hand. They wanted to know whether or not they should reduce the price based on a new competitive entrant. They said, Joseph, we've gotten a very group of diverse individuals representing all of our businesses together to discuss this important topic and we'd like you to be there. So I attended, they went through for about 45 minutes and they said, hey, we're done. I think we have our decision. Joseph, before we make the decision to lower price, we just want to check with you around process. How do you think it went? And I said, well, honestly, you do have a diverse group of people in the room. A plus on that. Unfortunately though, you only had two people talking the whole time. And in fact, if you did the poll, it'd be interesting to see if you do the collaboration technology and use a polling feature, if everyone actually feels that we should reduce the price. Of course, when they did that, two out of 10 people felt they should reduce it. The other eight said, no way. So now think about the power and the value lost in not having an inclusive environment with those individuals. This is the power and the difference between inclusion and diversity. Diversity is critically important, but diversity is only the potential to create value by having a diverse workforce. Inclusion is the realization of that value through the interaction and full participation of those individuals in that room. There's three core advantages when you drive an inclusive business environment. Let's talk through those three. Number one, it maximizes your employees' focus on building value. What do I mean by that? Well, I had the fortune of attending a predominantly African-American IT conference. And we were discussing how IT leaders can ultimately enhance and drive greater business value. I brought along a friend of mine who was also happened to be a CIO, happened to be Caucasian, brought him along, always outgoing, always really good at being able to provide great insight, really strong thinker. We get to the conference, and as we begin to talk in our work group, I notice he's hesitant, he's a little uncomfortable, and, and he's not his normal self. So we get a break, and I pull him aside and say, hey man, is, is everything okay? And he says, Joseph, you know, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit uncomfortable, I'm trying to see, you know, kind of how to fit in. For the first time, I'm understanding what it means to not be a part of the majority. In this example, what I mean is, is he's taking 90% of his brain power worrying about how do I fit in as opposed to 90% of that power talking about how do I solve and execute the problem at hand. This is what happens when you do not have an inclusive environment. You're, you're not tapping into the full potential power of that diverse work group. Let's talk about the ability to execute according to plan. What that means is, is we as business leaders, we make decisions each and every day. And we make decisions based on whether or not we feel that plan or that strategy was successful. Well, imagine being a basketball coach and you're gonna run a play. And at the end of the, end of the play, you're gonna decide whether or not you're gonna run it again or not. So you run the play. Here's what happens. Out of the five players that, run the, that are supposed to run the play, three run the play, two don't. And then you gotta make a decision. Was the play successful or not? Well, you really don't know. You don't know because not everyone executed the play. If you do not have a fully inclusive work environment, you get pocket vetoes. People don't believe their voice is heard. So you get those backroom chats or those talking on the side. It's a great example to understand, do you have an inclusive environment or not? Because of that, 
When people don't have a voice, they don't get in line. When they don't, they don't get in line, they don't execute. And so you don't ever know, is the plan that you came up with, is that successful or not? Huge disadvantage if you're a business leader trying to understand what levers to pull in driving profitability. Third area is really simple. Let me tell you, man, when you remove barriers and people get inclusive and they get an emotional and personal tie to what they are trying to achieve, they will achieve results that you never would ever, ever thought possible. That's where you get those breakthrough moments, whether it's a new phone or a new business model or a new innovation. That happens when people are passionate and focused on the common goal. If you don't have that, and you got people that are questioning and trying to figure out where they fit in, the chances of you coming up with a breakthrough goal is drastically diminished. So in closing, I want you to understand, is diversity important? Sure it is, but it's not good enough. You can't stop there, or you'll never achieve the full value that this world has to offer. Diversity plus inclusion, one plus one can equal three. Inclusion. It's not just the right thing to do, but it's the profitable thing to do. Thank you.